What's up guys, this is Justin, just a super quick video to say something about emotions. Emotions, I think, are a good thing. I think sometimes in church we talk about how emotions are bad, and if you live life by your emotions, then... You're a sinner. <laughs> and so I would like to say that I think that emotions are the window to the soul. When I get angry, I don't go out and, like, murder somebody. If I'm angry, I realize that my anger is a response to another emotion. Anger is a secondary emotion, not primary. Because there's a primary emotion of sadness, or fear, or shame, or guilt, or happiness, um, or just feeling relaxed. Anger is a response to feeling shame or sadness or fear, and we try to control that through anger. So if you're angry, just try to stop being angry. Good luck. You need to address actually what the what's driving the anger. So, and what drove me in porn for a long time um, was that like I was angry because I was sad. And so that instead of dealing with what was making me sad, and going through the steps of honesty and like here's what I'm feeling I need forgiveness or I need to say I need you to say sorry if you want to be my friend um, <laughs> like that's really what what has gotten me to five months and like three or four days and uh, it's really cool I'm a big fan whatever you're feeling is a indicator of what's going on inside of you so if we just try to stuff the indicator it's kind of like saying, oh, there's a warning light on my car. I should probably put some tape over that. If you use the Bible as black tape over an engine light warning, um, you can crash and burn. And I think Jesus wants more for us than that. So I would recommend that when the engine light comes on, the emotion, um, deal with that. Talk to a friend about how you're feeling. Be honest, be vulnerable, um, and be real and don't hide in Netflix or games or guitar or pornography um, or exercise or whatever. Do the good things out of that, um, but don't stuff. Take the black tape off of the engine light warning and respond to that appropriately. Don't just stuff it with, I'm gonna obey or I'm gonna not do this. It's like, <laughs> if you're scared, say you're scared, bro. Are you scared? Like, tell somebody, right? Like. It's cool. It builds real relationships. My favorite kind of porn was happy porn, where somebody would be smiling at me. And I'm like, oh, I feel connected and good. And then for like these this five minutes or whatever that I'm doing this, or way longer than five minutes, um, I'm pursuing this connection emotionally and uh, of happiness. And that doesn't last. And it's not real. And it just makes you less of a person of who you really are. So I'd recommend that when you're needing connection with people, maybe you should like find other people that are emotionally safe to be real with and to not like do Christian living performance, but to do Christian loving where you're at and encouragement. Embrace your emotions and let them lead you into reality and truth and health and the integrated abundant life that I think the Lord wants us to live as human beings. Um, not just cognitive Christian robots um, that ignore how we feel and just, I'm going to do the right thing and God's going to be happy with me. I'm like, eh. I think doing the right thing is being a real human being. Jesus had emotions. So, and I think he listened and I think he responded to those. So, if you just stuff Bible truth on top of your emotions to try to manage how you're feeling, um, good luck. Take the black tape off of the engine light warning and respond to that appropriately. Blah, 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 blah. Peace out. Hope that's encouraging. Let me know what you think. Bye!